TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Remember, my birthday is Sunday, May 26th. So in any of these videos, hey, if you feeling nice, leave a super chat. You know what I'm saying? Super thanks or whatever it is. Super like. I don't know if you know. Um, or, you know, just go to my Twitch and leave a dono, man. Or, if you're not sub, sub. Or, go back to like 20, 30 previous videos and like them all, man. Hey, whatever you got for me, I'm taking it. <laughs> Salute. Uh, I forgot where I was in my intro. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. This is twitch.com. Usernames at the bottom. We got a Patreon. Anywho, this is Traffic Cops. We ain't watched Traffic Cops in a minute, have we? Hopefully we ain't see this episode. Let's get into it. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. I'm saying what's popping. Hey. You are now all day. Testing the I'm looking like damn, why this the intro so long? Harrogate. I could I could do a prawn sandwich. Tell me you're middle class, right? Tell me you're middle class. Exempt all traffic units, so we just get a report coming in. So reliable sighting if you commit towards the I'll pass the details shortly. Nighttime policing in North Yorkshire is a key time for catching criminals on the move. Every show in North Yorkshire. We've just had a report that's been sighted in uh, um, probably about four junctions north of where we're going to be. Traffic cops Chris Storey and Sergeant Tim Wilson are looking for a stolen car linked to a series of catalytic converter thefts. Mm -hmm. There be still a catalytic converters out there too? Because they got that, that little piece of platinum in it that's worth X amount of dollars, right? Stop for police, so uh, we'll head there and be in a position to assist if it doesn't stop. Each year, millions of pounds worth of catalytic converters are stolen, melted down, and sold on for their precious metals. If we don't come across it, I'll stop there. Yeah, I think that's fair. Is that a fair plan? I think that's fair. As a police officer, you don't know what you're dealing with until you stop these people. And you, you don't know what they're capable of and you don't know what risks they're willing to take. So we're just going to drop down and see if we can see that coming past. We're going to stop in the junction. Just as Chris and Tim park up. Is that definitely it? Yeah, definitely. The suspect car passes them. Yeah, Reggie's right. Dodgy plate, like. Continue they stole catalytic converters so much in Chicago, along with vehicles. Like at one point, like they had security while they were stealing the cars and the catalytic converters. They had one man that would stand there with a, you know what I'm saying, with a with a weapon of choice, and the other man would get the job done. It was so crazy that you just watch from the window, like, dang, they stealing my catalytic converter, ain't they? That's my car. They got security with them? Yeah, they got security for this job. I'm gonna go ahead and call 911. <laughs> yeah, the middle, yeah. Yes, yes. Speed yeah, is 90. What he's doing is incredibly dangerous. Take y'all on a chase. One of the reasons and circumstances for the further stop and what your considerations, please. Yeah, the vehicle is believed to be involved in calling converter theft. And um, vehicle is wrong side of the road, back to the correct. How many confirmed thefts of catalytic converters? As far as I'm aware, one. There was two other attempts. Three As we approach a vehicle, it's offside into oncoming traffic. Stand by. Get 
taking risks that you cannot. To the correct. But when you can try and pop some there, see it's nice. We're gonna try and get ahead for a One thing I like about this show, man, they they be jumping right into it. I think police interceptors be jumping right into it too, but all the little background chatter in this show is cool too, you know. As we approach the offside bank, can we have the M pass lifting? Oh, no, With the police uh, helicopter. helicopter scrambled. We need to know where that stinger is. Tim coordinates the pursuit on the ground. Where's that stinger in the cross here at the offside for North Dean? We've got a stinger position settled at Mini Roundabout. Crack it. And we're just entering the 30s on the cross at Mini Roundabout. He's here. Yeah. 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 That vehicle has been stung, it continues for the village high street to one. Speed is 80. He's still going 80 and he's stung? Yeah, that's received. Speed is 90. Did he get stung or not? We deal with people like this. We, we know that they're, they're not wanting to stop for us because they're likely to have a load of gear on board which will assist them in their crime. So they don't want to be stopped in possession of that. Vehicle is slowing. I believe that it must have lost the tyre and now reduced to 8 0. Service just to confirm that the suit has been authorised. Yeah, that's received. He's straddling both lanes and now to the offside. Hold on. There's no oncoming vehicles. He's putting everyone at risk, isn't he? He's putting every person that he's driving past on the road, he's putting at risk. We have now got an oncoming vehicle, but it's back to the correct side. He is reduced now to 5 0. The last thing we want is ultimately for this vehicle to be involved in a collision and somebody get hurt. Stand by for decamp, we're going into an offside lay by and it's a right, right, right. Stand by. Uh, one out, one out. The vehicle has continued, he's gone to the near side of the hedge. We are now on. Ah, a staggered decamp. That's what I'm going to call it. Let one out continue on for some time. Let another one out continue on for some time. Then the last person. But they don't always follow the driver no matter what. Like, I never seen that in no police interceptors. Mail out. He's wearing grey tracksuit bottoms and a black coat. Stand by. We're coming to a gate. It's going to be a deep camp. Confirm for 6 m falls on foot. He's continued on the local channel. Pass will give us those blue lights and appreciate it. Yeah, we've got our blue lights on. There's two police cars with blue lights on. Yes, sir. With the three suspects on the run, that dog. a dog unit arrives. And back, we do have three units currently in the woods, but they're trying to make their way out to the east at the moment. Over. Never seen. They're not even the running. Very much worse. I'm just going to agree up. One of them had black trainers on with a white flashing on the back. You have a seat. Yeah, come. Good boy, hang him. As the police dog picks up a scent. We're along this field, mate, back towards the top end of it. Tim updates the helicopter crew. One that's bailed out first, but he's in open field, so I think he'll probably be fair game. And then the other two in Woodlands are some disturbed, so I think they're going to be better ones to get. Got contact, got contact. Come out now, the dog is going. Come out now! Yeah, he's here. I'm sinking in. Watch your arm, mate. I'm not doing anything. Oh, Wait, you got him. Punch your bum. Can't you stand up? This is a bunch of tractor tires in this. Where are you? Where are you? Is anyone else in these woods? You don't know? Right. You know him to police all oh, this is... Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. Straight. You got any stuff for you? What stuff? Anything. Uh, Wallet, uh, phone? Money. Just a bit of money? Yeah. You alright? You got a bit of cut to your face. I'm alright. I'm alright. Right, you alright? It's a fairly yeah, calm interaction. Down, just have a cat come in the back. Along with their uh, cutting equipment and a very large jack. I think I found another set of them with plates. 
Right, you've been arrested for burglary. Burglary, I've so let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish, just so you can hear it all out and say whatever you like at the end. At the moment, you're under arrest for burglary, stolen motor vehicle, failed to stop, dangerous driving, and interference with the motor vehicle. Okay, times three. Well, could you uh, get onto Harrogate? Is the interference with a motor vehicle the, um, the what's it called? The catalytic converter? Where the burglary charges come from? They just add and stuff? Nah, getting late. With pleasure. Good work. Despite an extensive search, the other two men are still missing. As a roads police officer, our job is to keep the roads safe ultimately. But part of that is, is taking criminality off the road because they create danger. What we and do is keep away. the roads safe and we tackle criminality using the roads, especially trapping criminals. Coming up. I'm not even going to lie, I'm surprised two got away. I wasn't expecting that. 100 calls. Force control, Force control, control. 1,200 calls come into North Yorkshire Police every day. Oscar Sierra 15, just confirm you've got ambulance on route. ETA 10 minutes. Vehicle is currently headed into North Yorkshire's area. The registered keeper is showing as previously failed to stop. Oscar Romeo 56. Do you want to show me making some progress from Harrogate down towards the 64? Whereabouts do you want me? Where isn't covered? Traffic cop Sergeant Pete Stringer is responding to an alert on a wanted car. So we're looking for black Audi. It's been linked to a couple of burglaries where properties, residential buildings have been broken into uh, and cars taken. 694 to 674. Right. We're just going to move out and see if we can find it. Yeah, we should. A few miles ahead, traffic cop Joe Schramm and Special Constable Toby Ganella are also looking for the car. There's a vehicle from West Yorkshire. It's been sighted coming into our area, so we'll just head out and have a look, see if we can spot anywhere. The road network in North Yorkshire, and we have about 6,000 miles of road, so it's, it's a constant challenge. Uh, a lot of travelling criminality coming in from surrounding forces. How big is Yorkshire? 6 the 6 that like compared to somewhere else that's big how big pause how big is it comparably to like Manchester or Birmingham whatever is the second st largest place in the UK right is it Birmingham or man is it Birmingham or... I don't remember double crew vehicle t pack train driver so there's been a sighting of the Audi vehicles keeping quite close to the vehicle in front of it with a bit of braking just approaching the uh, Motland Bypass. Speed is seven zero miles an hour. One behind it. Ten four, that's received. Yes, yes, vehicle's into the uh, village. I'm doing my best to hold off, but it's going to show how the vehicle is continuing eastbound on the A64. Traffic car behind it. They've made no attempt to stop it, but it's in a marked car, so obviously the concern is that it's going to react I'm sure he's aware that I'm behind him. Yeah, that's received. And I as well make sure they don't chuck out on the vehicle. The plan is to surround the car and bring it to a stop. Can we just let five know, please, just to make sure there's no response units that are just going to blue light past him or um, spook him? Thank you. And there's no one on 64, it's clear. 1640, just joining the 64 uh, east of Bramham. Do you want me to keep travelling east of that? This is why it'd be crazy when I'd be hearing, like, I'd be taking them on high-speed chases and getting away. Look at the level of communication they be having. It's insane. <laughs> There's continuing. Did AMPR um, on top of that? General direction of Scarborough. I'm still Morton Bypass. What previous of the um, registered keeper of this cop? Registered keeper is a female. Linked to a, a robbery. We should be fine waiting for the um, the Sarge and day 80 to get behind us. Tempo, all that's received. Closing fairly quickly. I think the people that commit the offences quite often just try the luck. But at the end of the day, they need to get lucky all the time. We only need to get lucky once to catch them. Looking back at us as we're following them in, um, but it's entering McDonald's car park. 
pulling into a spot, stand by. Okay. Yeah, I'll get keys out. I'll put it down. Hello. Hi. Keep your I'm not going to lie, they look like they don't got no clue what's going on or why they're getting pulled over. What they say, the registered person for the car is a female? I think a female is next. And where we can see him in the back. It's dry, or at least the passenger. Hey, lad, keep off your phone. Keep off your phone. Suzanne, cuff him, please. We don't know what they're here for. Put your phone down. They're at McDonald's. They're just trying to pull up the McDonald's app. You know what I'm saying? Free Big Mac or something. Right, that's it. Do as you're told by my colleague when you're told. What, what? She's got my phone, hasn't she? She's watching your face. Why, why are you yeah. grabbing me like that? Is there a reason why you pulled us? It's only the driver that needs to know why we've yeah, stopped well, I, the I can know as well. As no, you well, can. Man. I can, I can. It's legal. It's legal. Are you the driver? I'm not the driver, no, but I'm the passenger. So, yeah, The so, passengers are also allowed to know. So the powers to stop any vehicle on the road to ascertain if the driver has got documentation. I, I, not I, to I, tell the passenger. I'm allowed to ask all my questions, it's legal. Yeah, so and it's been explained. If you weren't listening, that's your fault. Then. Am I not allowed to record you? I've never said you can't record. Well, you took my phone off me, didn't you? No. Yeah, my phone's still over there, so you, you did. It's still I recording, didn't. Yes, so you've I've never touched it. you, pal. Yes, you I've been this side of the Your door. colleagues in. Oh, so we're all the same, are we? Okay. You know what the difference is? These cops is not on this show trying to act like they all, all goody two-shoes. He's clearly agitating the situation. I feel like this cop is agitating the situation. Am I tweeting? Just one person. Yeah. Thank you. They literally said they've come all the way from Leeds to Scarborough to uh, get a takeaway. Obviously, we were born yesterday and we don't believe them for a minute. All right, all, all four of you listening? Yeah. It don't matter if you believe them or not. <laughs> it's, uh, are you in. Uh, do you have reasonable suspicion that they've committed a crime or not? Or about to? I don't see them catching. There's nothing in the car, right? This moment in time, you're all going to be detained for a search of yeah, yourselves right. and of the vehicle. Yeah. All right? For items linked to uh, theft offences yeah. and going equipped for theft. Okay? Okay. Fair enough. The vehicle has been seen in suspicious circumstances near to Epergary a few days ago, near to the York area. That potentially shows just how far criminals will travel these days to commit their offences. Uh, we're a long, long way from Leeds. Doubling back is. Well, my phone's in this car. When you pull that out, there's a bit of money because obviously we've come to Scarborough so for a posh night out. Not really, no. No. Do you know how much cash you've got? Uh, yeah, I do. How much? Well, there's uh, 4.55. All your money? Yeah, all money. Never seen so many 50 pound notes. All of that back in there, alright? I'll zip that. it up for you. What are you on bail for? Uh, just Such as? Yeah, I don't know. You must know. You can go look it up. He just probably wanted to. I don't yeah. know, just a few things. Alright, uh, okay. Mail is coming back as wanted. Just confirm, is it conspiracy to uh, to steal? Or is it <laughs> conspiracy to bear with? Uh, yep, yeah, he's recorded me. He's got several markers on there as well. You're all listening to me? Yeah. You're in the jail, buddy. Due to information I've had passed to me, you are now all under arrest on suspicion of conspiracy to steal. I'm just going to pop you in cuffs. Can we speak first? Pop you in a set of cuffs. I'm not... We're getting arrested. Like you are I'm... arrested. Just pop you in. Okay. I don't understand, but we haven't done anything wrong. I'm just telling you. What was she in suspicion of stealing? Surprise? What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, I might got the wrong people. They're gonna let them go. Yeah, that's all I've got at the minute. I'm Most getting the full details, but all, I've, all the information I've been given is to arrest all four of you. Oh my God, I can't do with this, I'm gonna cry. We've done nothing wrong. What will happen, but we are- um, you, You'll be going to, I think you'll be getting transferred to West Yorkshire. And we'll be there till morning. Probably, yeah. Oh my, we're gonna be in till morning. We've got work and everything. The two lads in the back are. Hey, you shouldn't have took this trip, ma'am. From Leeds to to, to to Yorkshire for some McDonald's. I I that's that's dedication. But hey, listen, sometimes just stay home. Cook up a salad or something. You know what I'm saying? A chip buddy. 
You know what are I'm prolific, uh, and I suspect that the two lasses in the front have been uh, encouraged to drive them across here to uh, have a look around with a potential view to uh, stealing things in the future. So, mm, so they just used y'all. Y'all was pawns, and they playing. Certainly, the the two lads in the back of the car know what they're doing and why they're across in Scarborough. How many vans we got? We got four now. What's, yeah. what's not coming with me? Your phone. We're seizing it. Yeah, I know, and they're still gonna bring it in my van, mate. I've already spoke to him, so don't tell me different. Let's stop grabbing me like that, then. Am I gonna run? Why are you grabbing me tight? I have no time for them at all. Young gentleman, fairly obnoxious, full of bragging and boast. I'm driving up. Oh, not peace officer, the light, oh. those, do you? Lovely. Right. Yeah. All right. What's going on? You just follow my colleague here. He's just going to take you over to his van and we'll get his custody. The four have been taken to Scarborough custody where they'll be uh, documented and detained. Obviously, they'll be into. And the car get impounded too? Viewed in due course, realistically, tomorrow morning. They've already been searched. Yeah. I mean, they're literally going to let them go, all four of them. Except dude who got the. Uh... Who got the what's the car? He had a warrant out, didn't he? Things in this van, so if anything's left in here after we said it's a tribute to you. We'll seize all their mobile phones so they can be examined as part of the uh, conspiracy to steal. Uh, we're just waiting for recovery on the car that's also being seized as it's uh, possibly being used in crime. I think there's a, a misconception that North Yorkshire, because it's such a large force, it's rural, that uh, it's easier to commit crime. Uh, and I think, as we've shown this evening, it isn't. Seventy miles west of Scarborough. Convoy of three caravans being towed. It's not like we're jogging in flip flops then. Traffic cops Sergeant Paul Cording and Jerry Tunney receive another report of suspected thieves on the move. Caravans being towed from here. a campsite just south of York. Caravan theft is on the increase in North Yorkshire. Caravans can be an absolute fortune, depending on the spec of them and the age of them. I think for something reasonably new and quite high spec, you can be talking 20 or 30 grand quite easily. The fact we're bordered by seven different counties may... What do you mean, caravan theft? I guess caravan is the one that you put, hook up to the back of a truck and you can pull it. That's the caravan, right? I think that is. This is quite unique because we have a lot of challenges from people coming from out of the county. Officers up ahead are trailing the suspects. Like a trailer. Half past ten on a Thursday evening, not usually a time to be moving three caravans around, so that's going to heighten suspicion straight away. Rear blue if you can. They were off. They've made off on foot towards the lead vehicle. One of them's on H1 of the caravans um, and made off in the vehicle, and the other people who were in the other cars have decamped, and we believe got in the vehicle that's made off. The caravans have been abandoned, but the suspects have escaped. They've oh, done well, wow. haven't they? Because they've basically pulled it into the middle as well, so no get around. This is a nice one too. Officers who were trailing the caravan. So where are they taking these from? Like the dealership or somebody's house? Van update, Paul. One's like brand new, a 20. Is it? Later, so he's running the bin of that now. So oh, okay. Anyway. That's nice. Oh, from from what I can see. They've got oxyacetylene and drill and cuts in there. Is it? Got the Tools left in the abandoned car show all the signs of an organised gang. That's Low a torch. cutting gear, so if they need to get into any of the sites and they can't get in, they'll use the oxyacetylene. There's quite a lot of heavy security torch. because they get pinched quite often. They've been into every car then as well, which is strange. Have they? Unless they're looking for trackers or trackers. They're all open, yeah. We'll Around 4,000 caravans are stolen each year across the UK. It reeks, doesn't it? It's like they've wiped it all down. They've done it with both. Have they? They know what they're doing. We'll, we'll go through it with 
fighting two corn like that. There'll be bits that they can't wipe down that we might get something back off. They wiped it down alcohol. They're not knackered old caravans, they're somebody's pride and joy, so there's thousands of pounds here. So whilst it's frustrating that at the moment we haven't got any suspects or offenders with us, I'm sure the owners of these three caravans will be very pleased that they'll get them returned. We do suffer with cross border. Come on, caravanning is like a real big thing in the UK. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's big here too, but like, it's like specifically highlighted, I feel like, in a lot of the stuff that I be watching. Like the shows, like we're going to the caravan park or whatever, like all of that stuff. Like. Border criminality, because people see North Yorkshire as an affluent area, um, and then criminals will exploit that, try and come in, uh, commit crime, and get out again undetected, which presents us a massive challenge. Probably sell them to travelers. Coming up. Oh. Harold Gate Police Station. If you do need a 21, let me know, because I'm doing it wrong. Right. It's the start of the Saturday night shift. <laughs> Traffic cop Chris Story is heading out on patrol. We're mainly focusing on people who are choosing to go out, have a drink, and, and get in a car, ultimately. That's, are those that's what my role is. Police dirt bikes? Preventing people from being hurt on the roads, and quite clearly, drink drivers contribute to that quite significantly. On the outskirts of Scarborough. We'll see what he's like up to York, but it was a little bit wobbly at first. I think he knows I'm here now, and he's trying a bit more. It's 1 a.m and Chris spots an unsteady driver. Yeah, we'll give him a go. Mm. It's almost like he knew that was coming, then. Yeah, he's definitely wobbling. Slightly, though. Got it stopped. Barely. How are you doing all right? Nevertheless. No. Is it your car? Yeah. Yeah, don't just turn your engine off for me. Just pass me your keys out. I just want to have a look at it and make sure it's roadworthy before you go any further, all right? It's my dad's car, but I'm a, I'm a name driver on it. Ah, really right. Insurance. Perfect. The reason I stopped you is because of your speed. You're going a little bit quick. I, I ain't got a speedo. My speedo stopped working, but I didn't, I didn't think I was going that fast, to be honest. It's not working, is it not? No, I don't know why. It just won't work sometimes. I'll show you if you want. If you jump in, I'll show you, but it's not working. Right, okay, no problem. I'm just going to have a quick look around your car before we go any further. Have you had out to drink? We can drink test you. Right, okay. That is the one rule that out here that pisses me off that y'all got that rule. Like even if the cops don't find nothing, they suspect you of drunk driving and you come back with a z blow a zero, a drug driving, you blow a zero, all your insurance, everything lines up. Well, uh let's 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 check the thread of your tire. Like, bro, shut up. That is irritating. I, I don't know why it's so irritating to me. Oh, you got a broken side mirror. Hey, listen. <laughs> now you're being nitpicky. That's what I feel like. At least in America, if a cop did that to me, bro, you're searching. You're trying. The number one thing in America, what they do if they really trying to waste your time, oh, you can't have this incense hanging from the from the rear view mirror. Then why do they sell them? <laughs> Four new tires. It's all, my, all bald about three weeks ago. It's not in the vest, eh? Definitely one of your tyres that's um, that's not road legal. You front this one down here. Did you know about that? Yeah. Um, have you got your driver's license with you? She's seventy-five percent. She almost got a B. I'll just go and do some checks, and I'll come back to you. All right. What's Romeo 13 to extend? Can I get a vehicle check, please? Check is untapped. Yeah, received. Can you get us some recovery rolling, then, please? But I've just got some driver details as well, ah. so I'm going to check if you don't mind. She's got a drugs marker, cannabis possession. And just grab a seat in the back. It's crazy, ma'am. I tried to defend you. You ain't pay your little driving tax thingy. The UK tax for everything. What's the situation with the tax on the vehicle? Is it not taxed? No. It should, it should be taxed. Uh, have you taxed it yourself? or? Yeah, it's through a direct debit. Right, I can just show you on my phone what it's... Are you going to it now? Taxing. No. So what are you going to do, check that? It's going to be coming with us then, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's not got any tax on it. Really? Not if I just tax it now? No. You know what's crazy? I've, in the police interceptors, we've seen somebody let them tax the car right now. 
We've seen, or a motorcycle, right? A motorcycle. It was a motorcycle. Bro didn't have tax on his motorcycle. He said, what if I do it right now? He said, go ahead. I'll let you go. Now, he, I already knew he was a try hard. I already knew it. She not getting out of this. <laughs> it's not the way it works, unfortunately. But once if you're a cool cop, it is. Let's do is while I've got you, do a couple of preliminary tests before any drugs. I thought you get let off if you smoke cannabis. You know I'm going to fail it, don't you? If I smoke it, I'm going to... Well, when did you last smoke it? Um, last night. I had a cigarette last night. Okay. Well, we'll see if it comes up, if it tests positive, and we'll go down that route. Okay. What'll happen if I refuse it? You'll get locked up. And it'll be and it'll be the same it'll be the same result. Really? Yeah. So it'll be a sample of saliva to do this. Have you done one of these before? Okay. Stick your tongue right out. That's it. Down bad. Perfect. Keep it there. That's fine. This one takes generally about eight minutes to do, okay. Stay with me. While Chris waits for the results of the drug test. Traffic cop Gav Pearson arrives to check on the car. To check again? Hello, mate. It's just front. Okay. Of course, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they they go, they might get you for this in Illinois and in the states as well. You can't drive with this. This is a crazy hazard. You on the highway with this or any like fast paced road? This is real danger. It's like somebody's hit it. Hit it from this side. Is it that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's hit it from this side. That's why it's all fragmented this side. It's completely devoid of tread on that side edge. You can see it's just going completely smooth. As soon as it starts getting smooth, you've got no grip at all. You've got no ability to actually displace any water through the grip so it just ends up being slick just waiting for an accident that's all i mean this is going to get seized because of no tax anyway but i'm going to put a prohibition on it as well so it means that she can't just get it straight out of the compound and just put tax on it it's going to be whether it's worth the value of the car to actually get it repaired um it looks like it's had a quite hard definitely gonna get repaired life in all honesty Right, so you, your car has got defects on it, which uh, is totally unreal. To to yeah, but it's totally unreal. You're driving it. Yeah. That, that's the thing. Um, obviously, the tyre's defective. We should change the tyres all week. Every, well, yeah, but you need. Warm. Yeah, but the thing is, is you should be checking them constantly. If you've started a journey, you should check if you start a journey. Oh, so I mean, that there's a braking fault. Four weeks ago, ma'am, you are lying. <laughs> that can't happen in four weeks. On it, so you're driving around with that. And then the bodywork at the back is loose. So overall, it's classed as being a dangerous condition. So what will happen is a prohibition means you can't drive it on a road. Okay. I've literally seen some terrible cars on Florida roads. Like I'm talking, this is almost a grade B car on in Florida. I've seen some real Fs in Florida. Like mm. so, if you want it back out of the impound, you'll have to collect it on back of a lorry. And it'll have to go for repair straight away, and then it'll have to go for a full MOT. It's quite mm, it, No, it's basically I'm voiding oh, it right, now, yeah. yeah. With the car taken away, the test results are in. I'm tested positive, I'm going to arrest you at this time on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle whilst over a specified drug limit. The driver of this Fiesta is under arrest for drug drive. Have you got a van that could come and grab her, please, from my location? I'm all happy now, aren't you? No, I wouldn't say we're happy. I'd much rather have stopped you and just had a quick chat. Your car had been all right. There'd be no issue and you'd be on your way. That'd be, I'd be more than happy with that. Right, let's go. Turn all your pockets out for me so I can see that you've got an out in them. What have you got underneath that? And just turn your jeans pockets out. You can't turn them out, love. Put your fingers in. No, so I can see that. It's about put your fingers in, ma'am. What are you, you flirting with, bro? There's nothing in there, that's fine. Jump yourself in. She's gonna throw a little butt cheek. I seen you. Look, go back. No, so I can see there's nothing in there, that's fine. Jump yourself in. <laughs> Ultimately, she's made the decision to get in this car tonight. She knows that the tire is bald. She knows about the windscreen. She knows the car is in a dangerous condition. She's admitted to me that she uses cannabis, and that she. From what I seen, from what it was presented to us, besides the blur face, she might be decent. 
Mm -hmm. something like the previous night so all of that is she's aware of so she does only have herself to blame really have to the driver's given a sample of blood which is excellent so um we'll get that analyzed forensically and see where her levels are at she's tested positive for cannabis and cocaine so we'll oh she was tested positive for both okay see um, if them drugs are present in her blood she has started to get quite upset in custody the impacts that drug driving bring in terms of a potential loss of a license, the starting to set in. Not the lights you want to be running either, are they? No. <laughs> no. 70 miles. Neither are they? No. They look like father and daughter. 70 miles west of Scarborough. Traffic cop Jerry Tunney is on patrol with colleague Chris Graham Marlowe. It's not only about. Who's who? 123 Hilford, check please, West Park. Looking out for more late night party goers. It turned right out of this side <clears> road. <throat> it seemed a bit odd. And then it was like. Shall we follow it a minute? It's not hanging about either. Like proper not hanging about. Because it's. Now it's uh, creeping along. It stinks. I got a uh, mobile vehicle check, please. It smells like burning bricks or something. He stopped very abruptly. Yes. Is he going to try and set off again? Turn your engine off. All oh, right. Excellent. How long is it since? <laughs> oh man! Imagine being pulled over and this—the first thing that fall out the car is your the jig is up. Buddy. Try to drink of that. You haven't touched it. Right? Can you just step out a second for me? Have you had a drink tonight? Yes. Right. Because of your manner of driving, the fact that's just dropped out of your well, car. One in his pocket and everything. He ain't playing. Yes. Right. Look at it. Bro is prepared. He double <laughs> double pocketed. Right. Because of your manner of driving, the fact that's just dropped out of your car. Yeah. And you told me about a drink. I'm going to request a sample of breath. If you fail to provide, I'll provide a positive sample. You'll be arrested. Okay. So with this, yeah. I just need you to take a deep breath and blow into it until I tell you to stop. That's it, stop. Okay. What's the maximum? The legal limit's 35. Him asking that question lets us know a lot. Bro's, bro's drunk. Right, you've blown 78, so you are under arrest on suspicion of driving whilst over the prescribed limit of alcohol. Stay here. Come for you send us a, uh, a van. No, I'm not going anywhere. You're not, you're right. Because you're under arrest, my colleagues, you told you you're under arrest. I'm going to cuff you up. So you have to come to Harrogate Police Station with us, unfortunately. Y'all gonna take the beer out of his pocket? I say, you got, have you got somewhere to stay tonight? Uh, the group of young lads have been to a wedding and are returning to their hotel. Car's going nowhere, so you might as well jump out. Just said, no, have we got a van coming down? Yeah, I think so, yeah. You gotta jump out. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there is a van coming down towards this place. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all better just jump out. Because right now, it's, it's, it's cool. Now, don't let them get to searching all of y'all. Because you started uh, being a bit argumentative, didn't you, yeah, walking okay, off. Well. Do us a favour, just step back for us. Go get yourself a taxi. When dealing with drunk people, I'll be patient for so long. Once that wears my uh, inner sarcasm, makes it... Can you... <laughs> what is happening? Drunk people, I'll be patient for so long. Can you do this? Open, this is, look, pocket, pocket, open container. Can you, all right. I know in, in Chicago, you cannot have an open container even in a car. Granted, it's not his, like the drivers, but that's, I don't know. Is this legal? Once that wears my uh, inner sarcasm. Makes you can, it probably is legal. Never did that wrong, really. No. Drink driving is not an offence at all. We never did. We never drunk drive, did he? Do us a favour and walk off we'll and go get a taxi. Yeah, well, just I... just hang it up, buddy. Yeah, I agree. I swap place with him. No. 
What did you do to let him go? What did I do? I was yeah. going to the station. No, I forced him to do it. I forced him at gunpoint. I so, are we locking you up because you've got a gun then? Yeah. But you don't want that charge. <laughs> do you start making stupid comments like that? It doesn't matter, mate. Here we go, look. Thank you. Your chariot away. Go on. There you go, you can sit on there, look. Sit down. Sit there. Yes, please. Well, at least get these hands up safe. Uh, as soon as you get to custody, buddy, you can get them taken off. Right. In the morning, you'll all have sobered up. Thank you. We'll see. Bro poses no threat. I, honestly, I can't wait for this wedding that I'm going to because I'm going to be not drunk driving, but I'm going to be inebriated just like that because it is on my birthday, the wedding. So. See you up there. Oh, I get to give the speech too, so. Got a lot to say. To prove drink driving at court, the officers need an evidential sample of breath. Mind you where you're at, because we don't want you setting the alarms off. Oh, uh, Concentrate on what I'm about to tell you. I'm the one that's going to be reading this out to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Cool. Have you, since the time of the alleged offence, which is when we stopped you on the road, consumed or used any of the following things, and if so, what? Cross it all out, skip it on. Can I have my own opinion? Yes. So shut up. It's Next. A, it's what? Things, and if so, what? Cross it all out, skip it on. Can I have my own opinion? Yes. So shut up. It's next. A, it's mandatory next, that I read it Next, out. next. Alcohol next, or other drink. Next. It's quite difficult when you're trying to reason with someone who's got alcohol in the system. Do you know? This is he getting drunker and drunker by the minute. Well, we have to ask the question. It's we have a to legal be fair. procedure. No, we have to no, be no, 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 just wait, no, just, no. Just ask it. Then. Use any no. no. Use any mouthwash. No. They quite often don't want to take responsibility for their actions. <laughs> it's someone else's fault. They want to argue with you. What have I done? I know that, but we have to ask oh you. Oh my. I've sniffed a load of coke, yeah? I smoked a load of crack in the back of the van. Inhaled anything? No. Are you... Bro, are you dumb? Anything that you say will be used against you in a court of law, even if you're joking. It's still gonna be used again to you piss me off now. Have you taken anything? No! Do you ask me anything else? Is it you know? Alright, when you're ready, take a nice big deep breath in for me. And blow. Don't blow too hard, just keep going. I'll help. Because you uh, didn't blow properly, it's red cordy, what they call mouth alcohol, which means that we'll end up going for a specimen. But I'll breathe again if you want me to. Unfortunately, you can't because you, he, he, he's done that one. You're actually right. a joke. Just right. the shit that's happening in this world. I've decided and you to choose. No. no, shut up. And you choose me. I've been to collisions where it's involved a drink driver. They've killed people, they've killed themselves and they've made that decision to get behind the wheel of the car and drive. I will require you to provide. I uh, have two, I got a friend. He had a 350Z, yellow. He hit a old, no, I don't know how old the person was. He jumped the curb and hit her and she passed away. And he got dealt with for manslaughter. A vehicular manslaughter while under the influence or something like that. It was put down to that. But he ain't get no time because he had a good lawyer. I mean, with a specimen of blood or urine, do you consent? No, I don't consent. The driver failed to provide an evidential sample in custody, so will likely get banned from driving by the court. So he's lost his license, possibly. He's going to get banned regardless. But his livelihood as well, depending on what he does for a living. Come on, we'll go back now and see the custody sergeant. I've absolutely no sympathy for him. He was clearly well under the influence of alcohol. Just say. Where are you, Chris? You're in jail. 
Right, just take them straight, so. so Which one? Number seven. Number seven, no problem. Mm -hmm. Put it up to there, sink to there. He should never have been behind the wheel of that vehicle. It's not worth the risk. There's so much. Definitely. I, I hope the venue, when I go to Dallas, I hope the wedding venue is very close to the hotel. I hope it's in the hotel, but I don't think it is. But nevertheless, well, I'm so Ubery. <laughs> I'm calling straight Ubers. Mistake when you get behind the wheel of car over the limit. Coming up. lights in the field. Mike, we're just coming over the A1 bridge now. If we come over that, is it the field immediately to the near side? 15 miles south of York, traffic cop Tim Wilson is on patrol with Sergeant Rich Harrison. We're just going to um, a nearby location, the field where it's possibly lampers in the field. Lampers are poachers who hunt at night with lights. It's a regular problem in North Yorkshire with over 1,300 incidents last year. It's going to be interesting, this. Mm. You ready? Let's put the reds down. There, it's, it's off. It's gone. Yeah. It's like neon light. Anyone head to Campbellsworth for us? It's obvious that they're up to no good. Going back in, he's doing a UE car park. Behind you, can we go back on that site? I think he's heading back towards site. So Mercedes 4 before, he's heading back towards the site at speed away from us. A black Mercedes. We initially put blues on, but obviously just monitoring from a distance. Chris and Rich, are you nearby? I don't even see the car. Where is it? Heading down. Has it got, it's gone into the site. Has it? Yeah, it's into the site. That's oh, the we can head back down. Yeah, it's heading into the uh, traveller site. Uh, now, which way is it gone? Oh, ho, ho. okay. I, that's what I thought I heard. He's heading into the traveler site. This could be Hold a. Try to make sure he no one before I get out. Six and four. Stand by with this vehicle. We can pass you the uh, VIN. What's the sketch with it? Don't know. It just confirms it come back to somewhere in Rotherham. Yeah, I'll order that on the insurance page, please. Stinks. Is that how old are they, sorry? Yeah, how old are them too, please? The car is registered to a couple in their 50s. Who's a lot younger than that one? Stolen. Say that again. Who's a bit younger than that? Yeah, they were young like. Should I just should we drive it off, recover it? Uh, yeah, I think we should do that. Yeah, th th that's all you're going to get out of this. They done dumped into some houses, they travelers, and yeah, I wouldn't even... <laughs> I'm trying to have a peaceful night, ain't you? When we've done some checks on PNC, it comes back to a male and female, which sound like husband and wife. And it definitely wasn't, you know, it were two young lads, mid to late teens, so it's either been stolen or they've recently purchased it or taken it as a poor car and it's uninsured, so that's we're going to take it away. That just goes to show there that this job's a game of fractions. You know, there's all these little tracks everywhere, we've chosen that track to drive off at that time, and that's come towards us. If we'd have continued, we'd, we'd never have seen that. It's a thing of beauty, is that like? You know, and they're the type of cars that are used in crime and they're a menace to us and they're a menace to the public so it's good to have shot that off the road there's no evidence of poaching but something else has caught the officer's attention don't tell me they left an id bit of cannabis in center console oh. the quantity of cannabis uh there um the car smells of it so the chances are, if that's in the vehicle, um, that the occupants of that are going to have used it or intending to use it whilst driving. So 
uh, the chances are they're under the influence. Whether that's the sole reason for them failing to stop, um, we don't know, but all we can do... That's not the sole reason. Obviously, the car is stolen. There's multiple reasons why they didn't stop. Please assume that that's one of the contributing factors and that we've taken somebody off the road that's dangerous tonight. Um, the nerve. The contributing factors. Smoking harms unborn babies, obviously. Factors and that we've taken somebody off the road that's dangerous tonight um, in relation to this vehicle. It was it's living a car just... and you can only assume. Tires ball. If it is their car, but in the day they have probably drive their family around it and in the night and they're out doing stuff they shouldn't be. Ultimately the people that were in it are obviously a danger whether that's for committing crime or for driving under the influence. Whether they are dealing with suspected drink or drug drivers or organized thieves, night shifts are always a busy time for the traffic cops. In the chat, they say this is the GOAT police show in the UK. I don't know, man. This is good, but I like, I like, I don't, police interceptors got a lot going on. I feel like it has more layers to it, police interceptor. I don't know. North Yorkshire is unique in its road networks. It's a rural county, but then through the middle of it, we've got the A1. The result of that is you've got loads of villages, towns, cities that come off that, that are opportunity for traveling criminality to drop off the network, go into and target us, and then be quite quickly back on the network and away it's like again. So it's challenging in that sense, but we've got to keep working hard to make sure we're one step ahead. Yorkshire like Atlanta. A lot of police pursuits that we get are during the night when we're looking for burglars, you were looking for people stealing cars. Times have changed and our numbers have increased massively. And with that, so is our proactivity. So we're able to go out there now and target the people we should be targeting. Stand by. In this episode. Now, one out, one out. Please come to the near side of a hedge. The runaway suspect linked to the theft of catalytic converters. Wake up remains under investigation whilst mm. the police further their inquiries. I do like this portion. They get to tell on everything. You in a set of cuffs? Are we getting arrested? Like you are arrested. Everybody was let go. All four of the suspects arrested on suspicion of burglary near Scarborough were taken into custody by West Yorkshire Police. What are you on bail for? Uh, just a few things. But later released without action. Oh, all of them. Told you. I knew that one was, yeah, y'all just wasted their time. Y'all wanted to take them in. They weren't doing nothing too much. Let's nah, go it's in. off. It's gone. The failed to stop runaway driver who dumped a stolen car has not been identified. The car was returned to the registered keeper. Any of the sites and they can't get in. They'll use the cutting gear. Police are awaiting the results of forensic tests on all the vehicles and equipment recovered after thieves abandoned three stolen caravans. But so far, no suspects have been identified. Oh, there's more. Oh, yeah, this guy. Oh, so, shit, that's happening in this world. I've just started you to choose. No. no, shut up. You <laughs> choose me. The suspected drink driver who refused to take a blood test at the police station was banned from the roads for 18 months and received fines totaling over a thousand pounds. They gave bro everything they could. <laughs> so I thought you'd get let off if you smoke cannabis. And the young woman who tested positive for cocaine and cannabis at the roadside has been released under investigation whilst the police await the results of a blood test. Nobody got the car? Salutable. Tell all leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let me know in the comments which which show you prefer, man. Traffic cops or police interceptors. <laughs>